So, Kuki Shinobu is looking to be an extremely strong Electro Healer that is coming to Genshin in 2.7. And so, how are her constellations? Well, let's find out right now in this video. So, Kuki being a 4 star character means that her constellations will be much easier to obtain than a 5 star, obviously. And so, now the question is, is it worth summoning again and again for these constellations? Or will it be enough to just grab a C0 copy of her? Well, let's find out right now. So, her C1 states that her bursts AoE will be increased by 50%. So, this is pretty good. Her bursts doesn't last too long, however it does tick pretty rapidly and so increasing the AoE means that you can hit more enemies which means more damage. And so overall a pretty decent constellation. But now we reach her C2 which states that her grass rain of sanctifying's duration will be increased by 3 seconds. So this is her skill and is a big part of her overall kit as it is not only her healing ability but also her main electro applying ability and so any increases to this will be very very good as you'll not only get additional healing but more ticks of electro which depending on the team comp you'll be running with her could be really really good. So overall this constellation is really really good. It is the main skill we're going to be using and so any increases to this duration it's going to be so so good to get. But now we reach her next constellation which is a skill level up, not bad. But now moving on we have her C4. And so her C4 states that when a normal charged or plunging attack of characters with the grass ring of sanctifying on them hits an enemy a thunder grass mark will land on the opponent's location dealing AoE electro damage based on 9.7% of Kuki's max HP and can occur every 5 seconds. So this is really good. It's a nice damage buff to any characters that have Kuki's skill on themselves and a decent one at that as depending on how much HP you can stack on Kuki this could deal some very very good damage. And the fact that this is AoE damage means that this is really good when dealing with multiple mobs. Especially if you have someone that can group them together like Venti or Kazuha. And so overall it's a decent damage boost. But now let's move on to a C5. Her C5 is a burst level up, not bad. But now we reach her C6. And so her C6 states that whenever Kuki takes lethal damage, she will not die and go to 1 HP. And if she is below 25% health, her elemental mastery will be increased by 150 for 15 seconds. And that these effects, the revive and this elemental mastery buff, can trigger every 60 seconds. So firstly we have pretty much a free revive every 60 seconds which is really good as one of the negatives I thought about for Kuki during my kit analysis video was that she would be quite vulnerable to getting one shot and so getting the C6 would help immensely with this especially seeing as she is required to keep her health below 50% to get all the benefits with her abilities and such. And the next part of the C6, the buff, the buff to Elemental Mastery, is also really good. It's a massive increase to her Elemental Mastery and will help her deal much more damage. And shouldn't be too hard to proc as she'll already be relatively low health most of the fight. And so that is her constellations. Overall they're pretty good. The main ones that I would recommend going for is her C2, C4 and C6. Her C2 is definitely the important one though, seeing as an increase in your skills duration is always extremely worth it. Especially seeing as it is the best part of her kit as it's both the healing skill she has as well as her main electro application skill. Whereas the other two constellations C4, C6 are just damage increases to her kit. And so personally I'm definitely going to be trying to get a constellation or two for Kuki as she seems like a great character to pick up. But now how about you guys? Will you go for her constellations? Let me know down in the comment section below. But now as always I hope you enjoyed this video about Kuki's constellations and wish you all the best if you do decide to summon for her. And so if you enjoyed this video leave a like, comment, subscribe and I'll catch you next time.